Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. 5 over x times 5 over x is equal to x over 5. We need to find all possible values of x. First of all, we multiply both sides of this equation by 5 over x. We have 5 over x times 5 over x is equal to x over 5 and we multiply both sides of this equation by 5 over x and left side we multiply by 5 over x. Now this 5 will be cancelled with this 5 and this x will be cancelled with this x at right side left 1 and this uh, 5 over x times 5 over x times 5 over x becomes 5 over x cubed. Now we move this 1 to the left side 5 over x cubed minus 1 is equal to 0. Now we suppose that let this 5 over x 5 over x is equal to m and we substitute m in this equation then this equation becomes m cubed minus 1 is equal to 0. Now this one this one is same as 1 cubed so we can write this one as 1 cubed and according to this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This m cubed minus 1 cubed can be factorized as m minus 1 times m squared plus m plus 1 is equal to 0. And from here either this expression m minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus m plus 1 is equal to 0. And from here m is equal to 1. Now recall that 5 over x is equal to m. Recall that 5 over x is equal to m. Now to find the value of x in this equation we put the value of m 1 from here. So 5 over x is equal to value of m is 1 and if we multiply both sides of this equation by x then this implies that x is equal to 5. This is the first value of x. Now to find other two values of x we solve this quadratic equation. This is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1. And according to quadratic formula m is equal to negative value of b 1 plus or minus square root of value of b 1 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c 1 divided by 2 times value of a 1 and m is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of this 1 squared is equal to 1 minus 4 times 1 times 1 4 divided by 2 and this is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 negative 3 divided by 2 and m is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of we can write this negative 3 as 3 times negative 1 divided by 2 next 
m is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 3 this square root of negative 1 square root of negative 1 is equal to i so we replace this square root of negative 1 with i divided by 2 so from here we get two values of m m is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 3i divided by 2 and m is equal to negative 1 minus square root of 3i divided by 2. Now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 5 over x is equal to m. We have supposed that 5 over x is equal to m. To find the second value of x in this equation, we put the value of m negative 1 plus square root of 3i over 2. So, this equation becomes 5 over x is equal to value of m is negative 1 plus square root of 3i divided by 2. Now we use a cross multiplication here. We multiply this x with this negative 1 plus square root of 3i. So x times negative 1 plus square root of 3i x times negative 1 plus square root of 3i is equal to 5 times 2 10. Now if we divide both sides by this expression negative 1 plus the square root of 3i then this implies that x is equal to 10 divided by we can write this uh, square root of 3i plus negative 1 as square root of 3i minus 1. Now we multiply this expression by the conjugate of this expression square root of 3i plus 1 divided by square root of 3i plus 1 then x will be equal to 10 times this expression 10 times square root of 3i plus 1 divided by this uh, square root of 3i minus 1 times square root of 3i plus 1 is equal to square root of 3i squared minus 1 squared and x is equal to 10 times square root of 3i plus 1 divided by this square will be cancelled with this square root and here left 3i squared minus 1 squared is 1 and x is equal to 10 times square root of 3i plus 1 divided by 3 times value of this i squared is negative 1 minus 1. Next x is equal to 10 times square root of 3i plus 1 divided by this 3 times negative 1 negative 3 minus 1 negative 4 and x is equal to from here 2 2 times 4 and 2 5 times 10 and here left negative 5 times square root of 3i plus 1 divided by 2 and x is equal to negative 5 times the square root of 3i negative 5 times square root of 3i and negative 5 times plus 1 negative 5 divided by 2 this is the second value of x to find the third value of x in this equation 5 over x is equal to m we put the value of m negative 1 minus square root of 3i over 2 then this equation becomes 5 over x is equal to value of m is now negative 1 minus square root of 
थ्री आई डिवाइडेड बाय टू एंड वी यूज क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन वो मल्टीप्लाई दिस एक्स बाय दिस नेगेटिव वन माइनस स्क्वेयर ऑफ थ्री आई सो दिस बिकम्स एक्स टाइम्स नेगेटिव वन माइनस स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ थ्री आई इज इक्वल टू फाइव टाइम्स टू टेन एंड इफ यू डिवाइड बोथ साइड बाय दिस एक्सप्रेशन नेगेटिव वन माइनस स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ थ्री आई देन दिस एम्प्लाइज दैट एक्स इज इक्वल टू टेन डिवाइडेड बाय नेगेटिव वन माइनस स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ थ्री आई Now we multiply and divide this expression by the conjugate of this expression negative 1 plus square root of 3i divided by negative 1 plus square root of 3i and x is equal to 10 times this expression 10 times negative 1 plus square root of 3i divided by This negative one minus square root of three i times negative one plus square root of three i becomes negative one squared minus square root of three i squared, and x is equal to ten times. We can write this negative one plus square root of three i as square root of three i minus one. Divided by negative one squared is one minus this square will be cancelled with this square root, and here left three i squared, and x is equal to ten times square root of three i minus one divided by one minus three times value of i squared is negative one. Next, x is equal to ten times square root of three i minus one divided by one. This minus three times minus one plus three, and x is equal to ten times square root of three i minus one divided by one plus three four. Next, x is equal to from here two two times four and two five times ten, and we multiply this five by this expression five times square root of three i, five times square root of three i, and five times negative one negative five divided by this two. This is the third value of x. And first, we find the value of x one is equal to five. So these are the three solutions of this equation.